Okay, guys. Then um, welcome everybody to our monthly community call. Today is the 22nd of November, 2023. I'm Lute or the Jesus Christ on Twitter. And this month's community call is a little bit later than usual. Um, the reason for that is because we just arrived back from um, Def Connect Istanbul, which was an amazing event um, of the Ethereum community. Um, a lot of buzz around, uh, yeah, how to scale Ethereum, Layer 2, Layer 3, Validiums. Uh, Vitalik was there, announced his new vision for Plasma Chains. Um, it was a super cool, interesting event. Also very important for us to gain feedback from our Ethereum community since we recently launched the EVM um, storage protocol and also to find new collaborations, new partner in the field for decentralized storage. Um, everybody needs storage in some way or the other. And as you probably noticed, we're branching out our services um, stronger and stronger to the Ethereum community and all layer twos. And yeah, many deployments to more Ethereum chains will follow up in the future. All right, then um, let's have a quick look at our um, network metrics. So these are the numbers from the 13th of October, so already a little bit outdated. But what we can tell from um, last month is that we have an increasing storage order count. Uh, we broke 2 million files stored uh, in our network, and we're talking about unique files. In this case, uh, this doesn't include replicas. And our storage power increased a little bit to almost 670,000 terabytes. And um, our currently um, token, su current su token supply is sitting just below 30 million tokens. And yeah, as already mentioned um, earlier, 2 million files stored on cross network um, via all our different ecosystems. They are listed below again with some of our um, strongest partners. But we also uh, worked on some technical issues last month. One, for example, was that we um, added our different gateway settings, including fixed some bugs for crossed files. Um, we fixed some issues on our IPFS Scan Explorer, where now files can be retrieved again via the link provided. Then we had some RPSC synch synchronization issues. Um, this has been fixed with Bitmart and uh, Twilio. Um, then we, yesterday or two days ago, I think we announced like also a collaboration, um, with IOTEX, um, where we operate a node for their uh, deep end network and cross network. Maybe you saw it in the announcement. If you are holders of the OTEX and you stake your tokens with our uh, node, then this will be a 75% return, um, to our stakers. Um, if you want to learn more about that, check out our recent Twitter announcement. Um, there you can see where you can find our node and how to stake. And also we fixed a uh, description in our documentation um, for our node operators. In our ecosystem, uh, we renewed recently our slot for the Kusama Pirate Chain, so our cross shadow network. Now won the uh, 107th crowd one auction in the Kusama ecosystem, and all uh, slot participants or crowd one participants that contributed their KSM to our former slot action to number uh, to 46 to 49 um, have been received their rewards, and this all has been um, distributed. So if you contributed and didn't receive uh, your rewards, then feel free to let me know. Talking about our um, integrations within the EVM ecosystem, um, we happily can announce that we deployed our cross-chain smart contracts to the Scroll um, testnet. Um, Scroll also, in the meantime, announced the launch of their mainnet, and you can expect our uh, storage services also to be launched on mainnet very soon. And our partners from Robonomics, uh, who are using uh, cross-network storage services extensively to store machine data, actually published a um, tutorial lessons or how-to lesson 
in uh, online on how to use Crust. Also, what is IPFS? Why do I need a decentralized pinning protocol um, when using IPFS? This has been summarized in a beautiful um, video tutorial by Robonomics and can be found in, um, I don't even know right now where it can be found, but I think in the official Akusama documentation under the um, tutorial guides. Yeah, some uh, more partnerships which we are, which we are pushing forward or which, which we did push forward last month was once with uh, Metaplox. Metaplox is also a um, decentralized physical infrastructure net network uh, focused on providing uh, Wi-Fi services um, for, for, for different users. So it's almost like Crust where users can provide their storage services, but in this case they provide their bandwidth and Wi-Fi services so it, and get rewarded for it. And Crust recently announced a partnership with them. So it's always good to have like um, more deep end projects aligned to our overall vision and uh, Metaplox and Crust Network will partner on this use case together. Then another ecosystem where we are yeah, uh, running a campaign currently is Asta. Asta um, created a lot of hype recently, not just because of um, their deals with Sony and many, many other media modules in Japan and Korea but also because um, they recently announced the launch of their uh, layer 2 ZK EBM rollup. And um, Cross Network already deploys their services to Asta. Um, and we described that via one specific um, use case, the Minter DAP, uh, which can be accessed by all Asta users to mint the NFT collections and the NFT metadata store, which will be um, automatically stored on Cross Network. We're also going to have a Twitter space probably next week. We're still going to announce it where we invite different teams building on Crust Network in the Asta ecosystem, talking about their experience and the added value we can add with Crust to different um, services, solutions, and uh Regarding our community, we had offline events, but also online events we attended. Um, one offline event, for example, was the Dev Connect Istanbul, but you will hear about that in the next community call. Um, another one was the San Francisco meetup, um, where we, uh, where the event was hosted uh, by Crust and by Moonbeam. Um, our partner, Yulia, attended this event. Also, we brought some merch and educated people about um, Crust Network and another big shout out goes to Moonbeam, our partners, who explained to a lot of newcomers to the Polkadot ecosystem how to build and how to leverage this uh, Polkadot technology for their own benefits. Another community um, powered event was in Africa. We have a very strong uh, community in Africa. Um, we are super happy about that. And this community actually is um, also organizing events. In this case, there was like a press community meetup in Nigeria um, where yeah, our members educated newcomers about Crust Network, about what decentralized storage is and, and how to use it. And uh, we're super grateful for this. So if you have more ideas how to put Crust Network forward with such events, feel free to um, create a proposal in our, um, yeah, governance or, or, or talk to our um, team members. We are happy to sponsor this event it's with some, um, yeah, clear you with, with some t-shirts, whatever you need. Um, we're happy to help you out. And also we joined some online events. So CIK on the block um, hosted a uh, Twitter space, which Quest has been uh, joined. And then also Crust, um, in this case, Yuvia was interviewed by Crypto News Daily. Um, we talked about the basics of Crust Network and its role in Web3. So that's from my side from last month. If you still have questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, also, feel free to pop them in the chat and uh, I can address them.
going to wait for a minute or two to see if something pops up. If not, we can call it a day. All right. Seems like there are no questions. Okay. Well, well, Is that a question? Okay, I guess not. Um, if there should be anything popping up, feel free to add me in Telegram. Just shoot your message um, at Lute Clay. Um, I'm happy to get back to it. All right, guys. Um, then see you later next month and uh, enjoy your day.